What? Do what? All right, this is, a, this is the last time Mudbone will be seen anyway. This is Mudbone's, this is Mudbone's last show, right? This is Mud, Mudbone. And ladies and gentlemen, from Tupelo, Mississippi, Mudbone. You know, now, I know that boy. <laughs> See, he fucked up. <laughs> See, that fire got on his ass. <laughs> and it fucked him up upstairs. <laughs> Fried up what little brains he had. Cause I remember the motherfucker he could make a motherfucker laugh at a funeral on Sunday, Christmas Day. But you know what happened? He got some money. That's what happened to him. He got some money. Then Miss Mill Cramps and shit was gone. He said, fuck it. Went all the way crazy. Shit, now me, I'm still hungry. See, I'm gonna be out here four days and six months. I watched this boy, Rick, he used to come by and lend me a dollar him, 50 cents down. He was all right, you know. He would never lend me five, though, you know. Well, he let me have them twos and fuels, you know. <laughs> so I felt for the boy. I went over there to talk to him. And he ignorant, because I sit down and talk to him, and he don't let him get none of that powder in his nose. That's like trying to talk to a baboon's ass. <laughs> I talked to the boy seven days and seven nights. He was still on the same subject. <laughs> Where can I get some more? <laughs> so I talked to him, you know. I said, boy, why don't you, why don't you do something with yourself? Said, Since religion ain't your thing, Maybe you take up ballet. <laughs> so, <laughs> makes me laugh, think about it. I told him, I said, because you're going to be black a long time. So you might as well enjoy yourself, because there ain't many black motherfuckers out there doing it. I said, don't stop now. I said, don't lighten up, tighten up. That's what I told him. And he must have listened to me. Because he, he was going to register to vote. I knew he was sick then. <laughs> so listen. I'm not going to steal the show from the boy. <laughs> I ain't going to do that, time. <clears throat> so I'm on the boy, I got the camera and work and see that only white folks can do that. <laughs> and they make it look like such a mystery, they never let no black people do no shit like that. <laughs> only time you see black people doing some of that shit is when they want to plug, plug them. <laughs> say, say, boy, plug that in. <laughs> That's how you be saying, I'm, I work on the camera crew. See what you doing? Plug in the thing. A monkey could do that. Guess that's why they hired him. <laughs> See, I lived through hard times before. Like people talking about these as hard times. Hard times was way back. And it was, they didn't even have a year for it, just called it hard times. <laughs> it was dark all the time. I think the sun came out on Wednesday. And if you didn't have your ass up early, you missed it. So I happened to be out there one Wednesday, and the sun hit me right in the face. 
And I grabbed a bunch of it, rubbed it all over myself. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't have nothing else. Said, shit, I might as well have some sun on my face. And time went on. I remember it was Thursday. I said, damn, that sun was a bitch. That's why they didn't want us to have none of it. Cause it cheer you up inside, you see. So I got all cheered up, went out on the date. Lucinda Bell May. Girl was pretty. Cold black. Skin, skin was tender, like a baby's butt. Right? Sweet breast smelled like carnation milk. That's how tender she was. I liked her too. You know. She had a little liking to me. So Lucinda, we'd have to tip away. We'd go up and do a little kissing up in the apple orchard. We'd tip away together on Wednesday morning when the sun was up. Because we get up there, I make her put a little on her face, and she relaxed. Then she relaxed, I start rubbing all over. You know. <laughs> Women like when you rub them. If you rub them in them right spots, you, know. you got to rub them right there. Right on the inside of the leg by the kneecap. Rub them right there. And you rub it around till it starts burning. <laughs> See, they open up there more. Because there ain't but two pieces of pussy you're going to get in your life. That's your first and your last. <laughs> and all that shit in between don't count. That's just the extra gravy, you see. <laughs> Your mother said, when's the last time you got in pussy? I said, yesterday. That's as far as I want to remember. I don't want to sit around and the mother ask me, so how long you had in pussy? I go. <laughs> I don't want to live that long. <laughs> so, what I'm saying, what the point I'm trying to make is that there is no point to be made. <laughs> That's all it is. There ain't no point to it. Because you didn't ask to come to this motherfucker and you sure can't choose how to leave. Because <laughs> you don't know when you're going to go. So don't take this shit set. You better have some fun and plenty of it. Because when the shit over and you ask for a recharge, it's too late. All I can say is keep some sunshine on your face.